Hey guys, hi, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel, My Magical World. So today I am here with uh, top five, the best five indoor plant, which you can keep inside your house without any worry and which uh, are very well maintained and very easy to care. So let's start first is the anthurium so anthurium as we know they do not need too much light and too much care and too much fertilizer so you can easily keep it anywhere uh, say in the washroom bedroom and your living room anywhere you can keep if uh, these plants are best for uh, uh, living room as well as as uh, washroom and uh, they do not need any uh, direct sunlight so they are very happy if you keep them inside your house and secondly is the see you can see it looks like a tree from here just see and look at its stem it's so healthy these are the artillery uh, plant and also it's a kind of fern and it's uh, also called as rockweed plant so as you can see the how bushy this one so it's their nature so whenever you grow it see here you can look uh, um, uh, check their stems and uh, the few stems are coming from their uh, bottom of that uh, the single stem so these plants are best and uh, they need uh, they can survive under low light no need of indirect uh, direct sunlight and they need indirect sunlight and shade uh, they love shade so it's a uh, best plant to keep inside and keep uh, this plant indoor and they are very bushy so if you want to um, uh, just remove few stems you can do it from this side the new uh, stems and leaves will come out next is the peace lily here you can see peace lily peace lily also they do not need any um, direct sunlight they, are, they love shade and then uh, they grow very healthy under indirect sunlight so whenever you are placing this uh, uh, plant so it's always better if uh, the uh, say if your living room getting little bit uh, indirect sun indirect light then also it's okay if little bit sunlight then also okay in that case it's better to keep that side this plant and uh, next is like a uh, very common house plant that is uh, spider plant so you can see the uh, plantlets they are coming out so they will start uh, um, hanging down and it will look really amazing so uh, same thing they also do not uh, need uh, any, any any extra care any extra fertilizer or just they need some shade and next is snake plant and uh, as we all know that snake plant is best known on for its uh, medicinal value and um, also it's a air purifying plant so it's always better to keep one snake plant at least inside the house so and uh, the common thing about these plants they need very low light they can survive uh, indoor for a long time and whenever you want to um, water them just check their soil and just see if the soil is dry and it's always better if you plant these plants in coco peat vermicompost and uh, sand and say 10 to 20 percent of soil that is the best soil mix for this plant and one more tip i want to share with you it's always better if you keep this uh, plants under her uh, indirect sunlight in the balcony for say once in a week so that they will get a little bright light once in a week if not then also no need to worry they are perfectly okay under shade and indoor the second tip i want to share if you want you can make for example my this anthurium there two plants are there and these also from stem if you cut the stem and if you plant it another pot immediately within 15 days they will uh, start growing and uh, they will become bushy within a month so this plant what you can do you can make two pots of the similar uh, similar plant so that every week like for one week you can uh, keep this plants the next week the other pots or with the same plant you can replace them with the 
other parts so in that way if you say if you are living in a, a frost area it's very cold then it's better seven days seven days if you replace them with the same plant if you have uh, two pots of each plant and if it's too hot say if it's too hot and dry weather then it's always better like if you water them say after um, every uh, alternate day or after every two days if it's too dry say during summer is the 45 degree uh, celsius then it's always better to keep them indoor and mist them often so that they will uh, get the proper humidity uh, from the atmosphere but if it's uh, the pleasant weather uh, like you know temperature is between 20 to 30 then there is no need to uh, water them often once in a week you can water them because they 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 are not so thirsty and too much water can harm their roots so friends um, these are the five top and best plants that is uh, the best for indoor decoration living room decoration as well as is the best to keep inside your house not even a balcony you can keep them um, in your bedroom or your living room so these are the five plants so friends i think i have explained everything about these plants so thank you for watching friend and uh, please uh, like my video and subscribe to my channel Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in my next video, friends. Bye-bye and take care.